Hello everyone, I'm Tony Daskar Ghost and I'm here today to unbox with you the Lenovo Mirage Solo, the sixth door virtual reality headset that Lenovo has released some time ago. I want to thank you Lenovo for providing me this device for some time so that I can review it for you. And so I'm so happy to be able to try it, so let's go unboxing it. So let me use these scissors to cut the box and see what is inside the package. I'm really excited to be able to, to finally put my hands on the marriage solo. And here you are the box of the headset. As you can see, here there is the box of the headset with written everywhere that is powered by the dream technology by Google. Um, on the behind there is some characteristics of it, that is inside tracking, standalone, 110 degree field of view and high quality display. So let's open the content of this magic box. Okay, so let's open this box with this cool low poly man drawn onto it. And inside it we can find directly the headset. This really clean packaging, very, very minimal. So there is the headset and a little white box. This is the headset. Now I can remove this with you. So we can see the two cameras for inside out tracking, the, the ports and the volume buttons, the jack for the headphones and the EPD adjustment button. This is how it looks from the inside. And this is the cushion to make it more comfortable on the rear. So it looks, it looks quite light, I expect it more heavier. Um, but here it looks a bit more less fluffy than I thought because the Daydream headset was super fluffy, this is quite strong. And I expect here in this little box to find uh, to find some accessories for the headset and in fact we have the controller that is Typical the dream controller with volume buttons, the touchpad, two buttons. It's also very similar to the one of the Vive Focus. Look at the Daydream icon here. And there's a pair of headphones because the Daydream, the Lenovo Marriage Solo is the only one not having integrated audio. As you can see, there are no speakers here. And as I could expect, some things to charge the device, a USB, a USB C cable and a battery charger. And finally the warranty, quick start guide and all this stuff that I will never read. So the box is now empty. There's nothing more inside, so this unboxing has finished and well, I'm ready to test the device with you.